we've learned about transformations, we've learned about coordinate grids, um, and we've related to them to how GPS works, what type of project do you guys want to do? So keep thinking about this. So let's think of some essential questions. We're going to call, um, we're going to call them essential questions that we could explore by creating a challenge, okay? Something that you would like to learn more about, but you have to keep these ideas in mind. You have to keep um, your GPS ideas in mind, your latitude, longitude, and then your math concepts, coordinate grids, and transformations. So everything we've learned for the last two weeks, keep that in mind. So for example, um, one of the questions I had the other day was, can we use our smartphones to find latitudes and longitudes? So I made an activity to try to find out the answer. That was that Xnode activity when we did the virtual geocache. Okay, so keeping the big idea in mind, you guys need to brainstorm five ideas, okay, that we could explore using our GPS or finding locations, that's our big idea, and the math concept transformations and think about coordinate grids. Because we're running low on time, I'm gonna give you one minute for you to come up with a question or two or three. And by the way, you can put them on number two. That should have been down there. Number two, go ahead and write out any questions that you would like to know answers to that we could explore and make a challenge or project out of, okay? So go ahead, I'm gonna put some time on the clock a challenge, like, kind of, I don't know. Wait, wait, hold on real quick, though. Write it as a question, because then we're going to talk, everybody's going to talk, okay? So write it as a question, like, how do you want to know the answer to it, okay? So again, pretend like you're on Jeopardy. Write it, phrase it as a question. So remember, I, uh, I said my example was, can we, can we use our smartphones to investigate latitude and longitudes outside? So that was one of mine. But remember, we have to keep in mind to use transformations because that's something that we've been learning about in math. I'm talking about reflections, rotations. And then can we also use like, we don't have to use GPS's, but we could. So any kind of ideas that you have. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Because we're running out of time, do you guys see where it says submit essential question here? I want you guys to talk as a table and go ahead and write down, type out some ideas. So instead of group members' names, I'm going to say table number. So go ahead and click on that and then you should see this right here. So I'll say table number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and type out at least one essential question that you think would make a good project idea, okay? And do that within two minutes, okay? Go. You gotta talk to each other though. Nope. You guys are on the wrong screen. Where'd you go? There you go. So go ahead, you guys are table number two. So right here, you can click in there. Let me make sure that should be shared. Yeah, anyone who has the link can change.
sometimes on iPads it's a little different. So how many, if you can't type it in there, why don't you just write, um, why don't you star the question that you have that you think is a really good one and then I'll collect your papers. Yeah, it's not letting them. Sometimes on iPads it's a little funny. You can just leave them right in the middle of the table, yeah, that's great. So you have one more minute. Um, again, star the one out on your paper that you think makes a really good essential question that we could do a project out of. And what I'm going to do this weekend, are you listening? This weekend, I am going to kind of compile all your questions and I'm going to come up with a challenge that hopefully um, you think is fun and something we can investigate and explore and maybe find out some of these answers to why tracking and locating different locations is important. When you have something starred, please put it in the center of your table. Make sure your name's on it. Thank you. Thank you.